Squeeze Benz, who is he? He and a bunch of the other creators that have blown up out of nowhere in the past couple years have been causing strife around the New York streets. Covering their faces, jumping in cars, and treating the streets like no hissy, ducking and weaving, driving and diving traffic. Causing problems for a lot of people. We do not condone this in the car community. Now, this man has been snapped. Let's jump straight into what he is. Well, there were cases. When 13, I used to start picking up my boys, and that's when I started really, like, you know, cutting up. Oh my motherfucker. Okay, easy, Tiger. Easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. No more, no more. Ooh, that motherfucking made me. Imagine me doing that. In a hundred years. So this is Squeeze Benz and my boy Tommy G. This is one of the first incarnations of us, me seeing Squeeze Benz. I have actually uploaded a video of him. Bro being in GTA Yo, on the, the shorts. Yo, I gotta say. <laughs> drifting around. I do not condone street takeovers and drifting on the streets as you are causing a lot of problems for other people that aren't as keen or as aren't as good of a driver as you are. And now this man has caused a lot of problems. Where's 981 and Sean Sean are two other people that are become very famous and even the Swarm Squad are very become very famous through ducking and weaving between traffics, covering their face, and becoming absolute nuisances. Absolute nuisances. Now, Squeeze Benz did a live stream with Neon, a kick streamer. This is the spiraling downfall of Squeeze Benz. That there, the man squealing in the passenger seat, is Neon. He thought that it would be a good idea to do a stream with someone that's been popping off, causing absolute hectic on the streets. I've gotten this from Hands Edits, as this is a re-upload because this has been taken off the internet because of the highly illegality of it. Driving 130Ks, ducking you in between traffic is not safe and is not legal. Let alone doing it on a live stream. Dude, you're publicizing yourself to... You're breaking the law. And you're about to see how bad this went. You're a man now, Neon. Bro. Welcome to the Brotherhood. <laughs> Well, 
Welcome to the Brotherhood! He got crashed, straight rear-ended, because someone on the streets wasn't as as keen as he was. He didn't have as much courage. He saw someone slam on the brakes, didn't have enough time, smashed into the back of him. They don't understand that it's not just you that causes a crash or an incident, an accident. It is an accident for a reason. It's majority of the other times it could be another person. But it only takes one moment like that to ruin everything. That's why you stick to the VRs, guys, if you're going to do stuff like this. And to make matters worse, Squeeze Benz ran off. Oh my fuck! Oh! What the oh. fuck? After that footage, Neon gets out and runs off and Sweez Benz drives off. That is absolute nuts. Why? Why are you putting yourself and others at risk? Doing this sort of stuff. He knows the risks that, are com that come with these sorts of things. As he states in this video right here. How fast do you go sometimes? I'm hitting 150 every day. It's easy to hit 150, bro. Like it's triple digits no matter what. Your 50, 60 miles an hour is my 100. Have you had any near misses? Yeah, of course. People come to me like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it because of the simple fact that someone can get hurt. Thank you that I am not hurt anybody. It's like shooting a gun in an open field. Like, anybody can get hit with a straight bullet. If you hit somebody and they get really injured or die, what should be the punishment you think? I'm I'm going to jail with all of stuff. Yeah, it's worth it. Why? It's not worth it. That's the thing. I can't justify it, you know? So as he's saying in there, he knows the consequences, he can't even justify it himself, but yet, they still do it. They still th go for that thrill of the chase, that extra adrenaline hit, and they go and chase their next, next high. They are ruining car culture. So, first it started with these street takeovers, where people were doing donuts, people were getting hit, and everything like that. That's one thing, you know, they're cordoning off areas in streets and taking over them. This, they are driving up and down, up and down the streets, just weaving and ducking between traffic for everyday goers. They are causing a lot of distress. And as you can see with the rear end, no one was in it. No one was happy with that. That was terrible. This is not a good show of your driver's skills. This is just you being an idiot. Like he, on his, on his Instagram, he has videos that are like 3 million, 4 million. Just him driving around like an absolute nutter. Where's 981, which is another one that I've done a review on, is also a nutter as well. But even he knew that this was going down a rabbit hole that Squeeze Benz could not stop. As it comes to the New York Deputy Commissioner has caught Squeeze Benz, or is known as Anthony. A YouTuber posted him speed, uh, videos of him speeding around New York, avoiding police as he reaches 130 miles per hour at times, has been arrested. Antonio Gincenes, other known as Squeeze Benz to his millions of followers on Instagram and YouTube, has garnered a fan base during his videos showing him swerving through traffic in the five boroughs. The NYPD called him one of the most prolific street races in the city when they caught him they made a martyr out of him posting it all over the NYPD's Twitter page <laughs> funnily enough on the Twitter saying that uh, once he was apprehended they wanted to make sure that anyone else aka Wes981 or Sean Sean, anyone that's also getting famous off this 
illegal street racing, they are gonna crack down on you and get you. Just, just don't do it. There are video games and other ways you can interact with things like that make it feel like you're doing, you know, having fun, ducking and weaving between traffic. It's not just you that can cause an incident. It is not. And half the time, it might be someone else that's just not as good. I mean, Wes 981 literally saw this coming about a year ago with an interview with The Critical. Like this is your own self. If you hold yourself to a high regard and you want to show people what you're doing all the time, and I'm talking like friends and family, then it, it could very well like go against you. What, what I do, most of my friends and family don't know that I, that I engage in this behavior. You know, most friends and family, like, they don't, they don't, they don't know. Everyone saw this coming. Even another fellow driver, reckless driver, saw this coming. This is just a pit that you can't get yourself out of. And I think a lot of people are f***ing around and finding out these days. You cannot be doing this on the road. Alright guys, I am going to leave it there. I thought I would um, bring this this thing to light as there is a lot, a lot going on around the squeeze bins. You know, where's 981? They are blowing up on Instagram. They are blowing up on Twitter. On on TikTok and everything like that. They are going absolutely huge for something that should not be condoned. Alright guys. Hope you guys stay safe out there. And I will see you all later. See you! I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy